Hey guys, welcome in. Today I got a new project for you on pointillism. Pointillism is a style of art that has to do with dots, so there's lots of dot art in this one. And it's always one of my fit kids' favorite um, projects throughout the year because they get to use these really awesome dot makers. So they, um, these are really, really fun for kids to use um, to make dots. I could just paint them, but why not with these? Um, they're fun to kind of squish on them. Some of them you got to shake up a little bit more, um, but you want to make sure the cap is always on when you shake them up. Else the paint will spill out of here, but you can hear it kind of inside of there. Um, but for this, so we're going to start with, we're going to give the kids two different options. So on this, if you go ahead and skip ahead if you want to do the flower. I'm going to do the tree first. You can choose either or. I always usually do this about um, kindergarten or first grade. Um, it does not matter. The boys don't have to do the tree and the girls don't have to do the flowers. You can flip flop whichever one that you prefer. I'm going to start out with the tree. I'm going to do a little step by step on how to do the tree. I will have one of these little copies of paper at each kid's desk just to help them out. Um, the tree's a little bit more difficult, so I'll start out with that one. The flower has um, some more simple shapes in it. So I'll start out with the tree. So I'll have my tree kind of up here to the side, but on my sheet of paper, I usually have the kids start out in pencil to do it first so you guys can see it a little bit better. But for the tree, you want to start out with your trunk being the thickest part, and then it gets a little thinner as it goes to the top, but then the top part of the tree is much bigger um, than the trunk itself. The trunk is kind of the small part down here, but then that large um, part of the leaves and everything for the tree is a lot bigger. So I'll have my trunk, it'll kind of be a straight line, but then it'll start to curve. So kind of in the middle of your paper, you can draw a straight line, but then have it curve kind of towards the bottom straight line on this and then curve towards the bottom. Um, my picture has a little kind of branch off to the side, so if you want to add that, you can do that with just one, two lines, and then a little circle on the top there. And then for my branches that kind of go up to the leaves, so I'll do one line over here, one line curving over here, and then I'm gonna skip skip the other parts of it for right now, and I'm gonna do my almost my leaves or the top of my tree, and I do them in three separate, almost like cloud shapes. So I'm gonna have one kind of cloud shape, which is like little M's or W's, that goes about halfway, almost like a backwards C, this way. And then I have a really, really big one in the middle. And that one can go pretty close to the top of the paper. That one kind of connects over here. And then this one, on this side, it's almost kind of like a medium size one, maybe a little bit bigger than that one, and that can connect on this side. So then you got one, two, three little kind of cloud shapes, that's the top of the tree, and then I add something like a V. If you look at real trees, almost the branches kind of have that V shape in the middle of them. So I'm going to start with my V going kind of pretty close to this side over here but then it kind of spreads out and then it goes right back up into the tree. And then this one goes pretty close to there and then it goes right back up into the tree. And that kind of gives you your branches out there and you can always add some more branches into there if you want. That kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. So that's the basics for the tree. Oh, I forgot to add some grass down there. Mine has a little bit of grass on the bottom too. So if you want to make some M's or W's down at the bottom, you can always add some little zigzag lines at the bottom and that kind of looks and makes it look a little bit more authentic and like grass. Okay, so that's the basics for that one. If you are going to do the flower, the flower one, like I said, is a little bit easier. So for the flower step-by-step -step tutorial, um, my flower has kind of a vase and then your flowers sticking out from that vase. So the vase on the bottom is kind of like an egg shape or a big circle on the bottom. You want to do that but then don't connect it so I guess if you wanted to say it's almost like a U so a U on there and then it goes out to one side out to the other side and then we kind of connect that with a straight line and now some people add a curvy line a curvy line and a curvy line on the bottom and then they can do different patterns on those bottoms if they want and to we're gonna do that. add and try to fit in our flowers for our flowers they'll each flower will be two lines so I'm gonna start off with maybe one on this side one two and then go one two on this side 
and then I'm gonna skip a little space, maybe maybe about the maybe two fingers. I'll skip and then I'll do a circle. Two fingers, skip, and then do a circle. And that's so I have enough room to do my petals, almost like a tulip or a daisy. So my petals kind of loop back around and then go back and back, almost like an M on there. And then it just connects into that one. So you can continue doing that until you're all done all the way around with your flowers. All right, so there they are. So I got my tree on this side and then I got my flower design on there. I added a little bit of zigzag on top of my flower vase and added a couple more flowers to kind of fill up the page. Using the whole page is an important um, part to this project. And I'm gonna show you now a couple examples of what Kit's done. This is a really cool project for displays that looks really cool and really bright. It's a good, good spring project, um, but kids really like using um, these little um, dot makers. Um, so the, your next step will be to fill it in with dots. There's a couple different things that I I do one um, it is I'll usually have some markers out that they can add some of their own dots with regular markers too and you'll see that in my final design that. and by the power of YouTube or the magic of YouTube sometimes I say there is my final one I added a little frame on it which we'll do so I did my tree I did the top part with with my dots um, in the tree maybe some tree colors into there and then around my border I did some of the blue for the sky in there and then you can see for the tree trunk and the grass I added just marker by doing my own dots which is actually a little bit more like the pointillism picture um, from George Surratt walk in the park that we looked at um, that is a really popular um, pointillism but that's more the style of that where the dots are really really close together so you can do that for your grass and your trunk um, but you could also do that for the for some of the vase or even the stems. All right then, thank you guys for viewing. As always, hit the like button down below. Hit me a thumbs up if you see what videos that I'm that you guys are liking more. I can do more of those videos. Hit the subscribe button all the way down there as well. Hit the little red button in the description. That is to subscribe. That's the way to get all my free fun videos for all ages and abilities. That's the easiest way to do that. And as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class, and we will see you guys later.